The pragmatic philosophy of filmmaking is about to change. The nature of filmmaking is about to change. This combines and revolutionizes the way a director can make a movie in, in something I've never seen before. One of the most beautiful things about this process on this project has been that movies are a place where technologies come together in new ways and new forms. And this has allowed things like the Cook Easy Track relationship to create something that had not existed before. Something that is now going to become part of film language. It's going to become part of the way movies are made. This project came to me sort of in the middle of COVID. I got an email from a, an Italian producer who had a, <laughs> a very difficult project to do. And, you know, I was interested, but I didn't really believe it would happen. But he was determined. He seduced me into this. From the beginning of this project, I sat down with the director and we saw a couple of issues from a visual effects point of view. We, couldn't be in the middle of the ocean, that the backgrounds could never really be real, that the foreground was going to be difficult to work with because of wind and rain and water and actors who were wet and all these difficult things. So in Comandante, we collected data from many different platforms in many different ways. We used sensors on the camera, the lens data, mechanical cranes, infrared sensors, rotary encoders, DMX. All this stuff can come together and become one set of useful data that can be used in real time. And the best way that we found almost immediately was to work with EasyTrack. And because we wanted to work with anamorphic lenses, there was no choice but that we must go with Cook which happily was what the director of photography wanted from the beginning. The NRT, or Near Real-Time Workflow, brings together key advantages of lens technology and data aggregation. The director sits on set and he sees on the screen what's coming from his camera and the live camera combined in a very simple way with the real-time render, what we call a slap comp. That's the core, that's where we start. The next step in our process is the temp comp where all this flows out to guys in the truck who then do a better key and give the director back a representation that's not good enough to put in the movie, but absolutely good enough to give to the editors. Cook put a lot of energy into mapping their lenses in a way that's super accurate, and we're, because of EasyTrack, able to use that in a very timely and effective way right on set in real time. So hacking together these Existing technologies into something new and beautiful is you know, why you do this kind of work. Meeting Tim and realizing how he was the key to bringing the Cook lens data to set is part of why this all worked. This kind of thing is what makes this project so unique and interesting, and frankly, why so many people have come to it with their ideas to see them executed for the very first time. This process is making visual effects accessible to the movie makers, to the filmmakers. Everybody's involved in it. Everybody knows what's going on. They can see it on set. And there's an involvement of the crew that's making the movie that's actually kind of incredible. It gives an energy to what we're doing that you would never see in the traditional way of dividing post in production. So that's what happened. We met, we shared our ideas, we made a whole new paradigm and we made a movie.